What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Today's MTC segment, we're going to be looking at cargo transporters out of Claremont, North Carolina. Cargo is a family-owned and operated company with the understanding of the importance of yours. This is what they offer. They offer flexible home time and top of the line equipment to get you on the road safely. Class A drivers will also appreciate the earning power at Cargo because we pay 8 to 10% more miles than most truckload carriers. They're using Ram McNally practical miles. Here's what they got to offer as far as the pay. They have two pay packages, one of which is 67 all miles, which means prod productivity pay, seven paid, seven paid holidays, pay time off. You can earn up to like 15 plus days off. Hmm. Their second package is 60 cent miles standard and this includes productivity bonus which an additional three percent i mean three cent more on top of the weekly miles that you can get seven paid holidays and you also get paid time off qualified cdl company their drivers enjoy home time weekly Drive, drive CT driver app, detention pay after two hours, layover pay, optional per diem, and 401k match. They have state-of-the-art equipment, no older than two years old. They have Omnitrax navigation, company subsidized satellite TV, company provided refrigerator, serious satellite radio, and auto shift transmission with the two pay options that they have available let's see what they mean in the call car transport is recruiting this brady hey how's it going man it's doing well how are you going uh man i can't call it i can't call it so you know i'm i'm up here at the uh petro and I see a couple mm -hmm. of you guys' uh, trucks, so I decided to, you know, snatch mm -hmm. the phone number and uh, jump yeah, on yeah. jump on the website and see what you guys got to offer. You mind if I got to get a couple of minutes with you to to see what's up? No problem whatsoever. What you got? Hey, what? I appreciate it. I, I appreciate it. I hope I can answer. All right. Um, so one of the questions I have: where Where are you out of? I'm out of Ohio. Out of Ohio. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm where uh, office office seventy seven. Uh, I'm in Cleveland, but I also have Cleveland. Uh, okay, yeah, right. but I also have uh, I have residents in Columbus as well. Okay, all well, right. One thing about us is 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 uh, oh, I just kind of tell oh, no. you a little bit about us. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, we our hiring area has to be right on seventy seven. Okay, uh, parking uh, so that any driver that would be hired. Um, up to to Cleveland, you know, because we just don't have much freight, you know, going out. I'd say Columbus area. We okay. mostly stay right off of seventy seven. A lot of Cleveland area freight. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right over there in the Akron, yeah, in the Akron area, seventy seven, yeah. coming yeah. up uh, yeah, north. Hots and stuff yeah, like that. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm familiar. I'm, I'm, yeah. we, we good, yeah. we good. Okay. Um. All right. So all right. I'm, I'm on your website, and you know, it's a couple of interesting things that's. Uh, that's uh that's catching my eye and you have mm -hmm. one of which is right here that says six, 67 cent mile all in pay uh is that like yeah. is that broken down or something like that because how how is that how how is that broke broke down if if any okay the uh, we we have two pay packages that a, a driver can choose from. Mm -hmm. We have a standard package. Okay, standard package. It's a sixty cent per mile package. Right. Right. All miles, sixty cent. 
empty or loaded. Mm-hmm. We have a, a part of that package is a three cent per mile productivity bonus mm. at 2,400 miles. You hit 2,400 miles in the week, it bumps up to 63 cent okay. for all miles driven that week. Okay, but okay. if we don't if we don't hit that threshold, if we don't hit that threshold, don't hit it'll be 60. Hole, yeah, if you don't hit the, you're right, it'll be 60. Okay. okay. Part of that pay package includes seven paid holidays. Mm-hmm. Seven. And then also, okay. um, yeah, seven paid holidays, and then also paid time off. A driver can get three weeks of paid time off if they average two thousand miles a week. Okay, okay. So, if they average the, more than two thousand miles a week, they earn more paid time off. Okay, that package is equivalent of sixty-seven cent. Mm-hmm. If you factor in all the the cost of all the other all that. Is mm-hmm. is equal to sixty seven cent per mile, and it's just really a driver chooses how they want that sixty seven cent per mile. Do okay. They want it with the paid holidays, paid time off, production bonus option, or take it as sixty seven cents, get everything paid up front mm-hmm. for all the miles that they run. All right, they so take time off, they don't get paid. They're off a holiday, they don't get paid. Oh, okay, okay. So that's the difference between the two pay packages. Mm-hmm. All right, so Correct, it's yeah. well. Let me ask you. Let me ask you this, and I'm I'm hearing this is all generated by miles. So, like, will I be able to get those miles in order to get the amount that's that you guys is offering? Because we all know three thousand yeah. miles is not guaranteed yeah. every week. No, no, there's no guarantee. We say 2,400 miles. We do, If we can get a driver that wants to run 2,400 miles in mm-hmm. a week, that's what we want them to get and still get you know get their good get home time okay. for the weekend. So. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, how much experience do you guys require? We have to have at least one full year of OTR. All right. How how strict are y'all, are y'all standards there? Um, and what I mean by that is, is like if a if a driver do have a year of experience, but mm-hmm. you know s- something else that's causing them not to get hired on, what would that probably be? It 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 would just depend. You'd have to put in a full application, and mm-hmm. we and uh, we run our background checks. All right, cool, awesome. Pre employment drug screening, hair follicles, or urine, or both. Yes, yeah, we do DOT physicals. And urine, and then we also do pre-employment hair tests. Okay, okay, okay. That that that's a deal breaker with some of these guys out there, <laughs> but yeah. it is what it is, man. Yep. Uh, we already went over the mileage yep. pay and the, and the pay per mile. What what are what what are the equipment that you guys have, and what are they governing that? We're we're running uh, all Freightliner Cascadias, uh, yep. late models, uh, two one to two year old. Okay. Dogs. And um, I already went to the, automatic shift. Right, I already went to the website. You you guys have uh, automatic shift, uh, TV, satellite, satellite radio, all the amenities. Yeah. Um, is the TV already yep. in there? Sixty five. Is the TV already in there, or do we have to bring our it, it TV? It is not. Oh, okay. It, what it is, if a if a driver chooses, if if you choose to take the 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 TV. It's a seven dollar a week charge for the for the service oh, okay. for the Direct TV service. You know, over a hundred plus channels. Gotcha, gotcha. We install the system, TV, remote, satellite, everything. It's all pro- provided oh. on the truck. All set. All we right. Have refrigerators. We do not have microwaves, but we do have two thousand watt inverters. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, you did mention, and I'm sorry for cutting you off, but you did mention that the trucks are governed at sixty five. At sixty five, yep. Uh, With any, a uh, technology, pass smart technology in them. Explain that. That's that's new. Okay, if let's just say you're behind a truck and you need to get around them, right? Okay, and you need that extra five miles per hour. It's just a double tap on the fuel pedal, and it increases it gives you the opportunity to increase up to 70 miles per hour oh, okay and and then it'll drop back down to 65 so there's it'll nothing dr- so it'll drop back down to 65 right yeah. oh, okay 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 uh dash you have ca- that you oh. have you have that capacity you have that capability for 60 minutes out of a 24-hour period uh, oh 
Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, 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 yeah. uh, so I, I guess I got to use it sparingly, then, huh? <laughs> well, it is, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, sixteen minutes out of a out of a day, I'm able to go seventy miles an hour, and then after that, I'm sixty five throughout the rest rest of the hour. Sixty five. Yep, yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. Uh, driver cameras. We do have uh, inboard uh, vent recorders, inboard and uh, outboard facing. Cameras. Okay, that that's yeah, that's another deal breaker as well. But it is what it yeah. is. Yeah. Um, we already went over the amenities and everything. Do you guys? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I don't see it on your website. But do you guys offer lease opportunities? We do not. Oh, okay. Uh, we are strictly 100 percent company trucks. Company now. Drivers. Now, the, rewind back to what you were saying that, you know, I would be going up through 77. Would I would be, like, regional or would this be, like, over the road, including 77? It would be out out home weekly. Oh, you know, okay. In regards to home time. It would okay. be home weekly. Okay. Whatever, your, whatever days you need, you know, you know, if you wanted Saturdays and Sundays, you work that out with your fleet manager and say, you know, this is my days or I need Tuesday, Wednesday or whatever, or I need – Thursday, Friday. Okay. We want to run the truck twenty four hundred miles a week. Okay. okay. So we just we just we just want to get twenty four hundred miles on the truck. That way, depending on whatever pay package you come in at, you're going to hit either the production bonus, still get your pay time off in holidays, or you're going to get straight sixty seven cents. And you're going to get about sixteen hundred dollars gross a week. Awesome. Okay. We okay. Twenty four. You know. Anything more than twenty four hundred? That's a hey, bonus. You know, we're we're ecstatic. Yeah, yeah that's a bonus. Twenty four hundred is that number to be able to run five days and still get you home. You know, the sweet spot. The sweet spot. I got you. I got you. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um. So. Well, I'm I'm not a fan of the Northeast. Uh, I, I don't think any driver is. But are you guys force dispatch to push us up in that area? Into the Northeast, we're not force dispatch, but. We do have Northeast Freight. Our customer base is all out of North Carolina. Okay. So we have all these customers down here that are, you know, they, they tender these these loads over to us, mm -hmm. you know, whatever they're getting ready that day. And then we have to, all right, this is what we can cover. And so a lot of it is Northeast. Uh, we do have, uh, you know, um, we predominantly was a North, you know, started off as a Northeast carrier, but as – Someone that live if, if you would park on 77, because your parking would have to be somewhere along 77, truck stop or whatever. Okay. Um, you know, wherever you can park. Uh, we don't allow parking at residence with mm. truck, tractor and trailers. Um, so it would have to be we, a know, truck we, stop that you guys would want us to truck park stop. Yeah, a Loves or Pilot, well, DA, any anything where that there's available parking. Now let me ask you this: What if what what if I do have a secure place then would i be able if, to if you have a secure place as long as it's not a private residence oh, okay 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 that'll work if it's that'll a work. business i mean if it's a, like a business lot or we just we we have to have the address the content the name of the the owner of the property the contact name right just in um, just in case on file I got you. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Uh, pet and rider policy, and how young can I bring my my Wait. rider? All right, rider. Um, if you're the legal guardian, thirteen and up. Okay. Thirteen to eighteen. Okay. Okay. You have to be the legal guardian of them. Um, and if I'm not, <laughs> no, I'm if just not. It has to be eighteen. Okay. Up, yeah. Well, no, it, it, and, I, you know, and unfortunately, we had a lot of we had a lot of grand we had a lot of grandparents, a lot of granddads that got right. upset with that. Right. But there we just go. you know for it's it's a safety issue. It is a safety. You know, I mean, there's so much more happening out here at these truck stops than you know people I care gotcha. to really talk about. Exactly. And, exactly. And, uh, you know. Um. <clears throat> so. We went over the uh, the hair follicle, um, and you, and of yep. course your DLT physical and everything. Uh, with that said, do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do not. All right, and last uh, last yeah. one here is: Do you guys have a sign on bonus? We have a thousand dollar transition pay. Uh, oh, transition basically, pay! What, it, basically, you're leaving one job. Coming to us, 
Mm-hmm. You'll do orientation, take a dispatch. Once you take that dispatch, we're putting a thousand in your in your payroll. All right, um, and of course we get paid every every week, right? That week, we, we every get, week, yeah. Oh, okay. Orientations are two. It's a two day orientation, Monday mm-hmm. and Tuesday. Ready for dispatch Wednesday? You get miles plus in the thousand dollars. All right. Well, that's all. That's all I got. But thank you, though. Thank you. And, I, and, I, oh. and your name? Yeah. And your name is? My name's Shine. My name's Shine. I also Sean? host. I also Sean? host a. I also host yeah. a Facebook group uh, called CDL Careers. So the information okay. that you give me, sir, right. I will share it. Uh, a very into, especially the pay packages. I think you know my guys mm-hmm. in my network is very interest. That will be very interested mm-hmm. in that. And twenty four miles, and we can we can start at about sixteen hundred. That's that might be a go. That might be a go. I mean, that might be yeah. something that I might be interested in too. But you know, I I make okay. a little bit more. <laughs> but still, I, I will definitely share this yeah. with uh with my network of drivers, and um and I okay. I do appreciate okay. the uh, information. Yeah, all right, Sean. Take care now. Thank you, sir. Cargo transporters out of Claremont, North Carolina. Okay. Okay. Let me get a hand clap for that. Let me get a hand clap for that. Great information. What do you guys, what's you guys thoughts on this call right here, man? Great information. I mean, since you, you get the chance to choose between two pay packages, one is 60 cent and you would get other incentives as he spoke about. And sixty seven cent straight cash, straight cash. You you don't want you you don't want the paid holidays. You don't want the paid time off. You just want straight cash. Sixty seven cent that would that that would garner you. He said about sixteen hundred, sixteen hundred at twenty four hundred miles and any miles after that. What do what do you guys think? Uh, is this something for you? You know, let's 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 see what it is. Let's let's see what what the reviews have to say about cargo express or cargo trans cargo transporters. Yeah, cargo transporters. All right, let's jump into the reviews courtesy of Truckers Report. And we're starting off on a negative side. This driver, former former driver gives this company a one Mm, mm, mm. let's find out very long uh very long paragraph for this company we probably might not get into too much of it but let's go this company terminated me over a word of mouth of a proclaimed off-duty officer highway patrol dot officer There's no video evidence of the alleged behavior. I was given no chance to defend and argue the allegations, nor given any through rebuttal. This company now refused to allow me to sit and speak with the proper higher-ups in the corporation offices over the matter. I've been asking other drivers in this company for information about policies and rules of previous terminations in the past, as well as get insight on the conduct of the company. I've also contracted two North Carolina Highway Patrol DOT officers about the entire situation, one being the supervisor, and per their scene statements, something doesn't add up to the reported behavior and how it was handled. Cargo seems to be only covering their tail at the expense of an exceptional driver's employment records and character. Meanwhile, Cargo claims to have the best office staff and best drivers and best operations, but do but but don't all companies claim this? Cargo did not stand by their driver and looked out for their interests. What I was accused of was false, and I wasn't given the chance to prove my innocence to overturn this decision. All over a word of mouth of someone, I lost my career at Cargo. 
My foul was pretty clean and free of violations, accidents, repetitive disciplinary behaviors. The fact that Cargo stands behind their decision and will not allow me to speak to higher-ups reflect the company's character. I will continue speaking to other current drivers about this as well as highway patrol as well as highway patrols. And while it can always be exhausting mentally, I will seek legal advice over the matter. Now, I want to stop right there because he went in on what happened, but driver, tell us what had happened. I'm looking at your whole your your whole spiel here and you still did not go into the situation of what happened. So I'm not sure. Again, guys, definitely take this with a gain a grain of salt. Next up, we have a current employer that gives five stars. He said he's been he'd been here coming up on two years and came when the pay was 50 cents a mile. And now he's making 67 cents, easily grossing 85K home every weekend, doing 2,500 plus miles a week. Good vacation package also. He gives everything a five. Another current employee says, new equipment every year. Maintenance, get the repairs done right. Managing and safety teams are supportive. Lots of fun activities year round, but we are drivers, so we don't get a chance to join in much, but it's okay. Lots of miles, pay is decent, and awesome dispatchers. He gives this company a five. And last that we're going to touch on is this current employer. He gives the company a five. He says, well-maintained equipment and friendly people. It's an environment which encourages positivity. The pay is one of the best in the industry. And most importantly, it's on time every week. If you want to work, you will always have loads. The company also fosters family life and believes that it is important part of the driver's happiness. Best company for me yet. And of course, he gives it a five star. Well, that's my thoughts on cargo transporters, y'all. Shout out to, to the subscriber that got the suggestion in for this call. If you guys want to know about cargo transporters, the information is in the description below. Let them know that lockout men sent you. Until next time, everybody, make sure you get your suggestions in now for the next recruiter call. Who's next?